If you're considering having cataract or lens replacement surgery to improve your vision and want to be able to see far, mid, and near without glasses and with great image quality, want to see great at night with minimal halos, and want a lens implant that has proven to have the highest satisfaction rate and the lowest dissatisfaction rate, then in my experience, the Envy Multifocal Lens is the best premium lens implant available in 2025. Let me share my financial disclosure. I'm not paid by any of the companies to speak about any of these products. I have no financial interest in any of the products discussed in this video. I'm only paid by the patients who come to see me for their eye surgery or their eye care. In my experience, what makes a premium lens successful is the highest percentage of patients are satisfied and the lowest percentage of patients are dissatisfied enough where they want that lens exchanged or removed. So of the 508 patients that I have placed the Envy multifocal lens into, how many patients have been dissatisfied enough where they actually wanted the Envy multifocal removed and exchanged for a different lens? Thus far, only one. The patient that wanted the exchange of the Envy, they ultimately received the light adjustable lens. However, after receiving the light adjustable lens in reflection, they realized that they preferred their vision with the Envy multifocal over the light adjustable lens. And amazingly enough, they requested and received the Envy lens a second time because they realized that they preferred their vision with the Envy multifocal. So what is the dissatisfaction rate of the Envy lens for me over the past 10 or 11 months in over 500 patients? It's between zero and 0.2%. That means that there is a satisfaction rate of well over 99%, which is much better than any other multifocal lens that I've ever used. Let me share my experience with another multifocal lens that I used extensively between April 2024 and August 2025, the Odyssey multifocal. I placed 581 Odyssey multifocals into my patients over that span of time. What was the satisfaction rate? 96.4%. What was the dissatisfaction rate? 3.6% of patients with the Odyssey lens were unsatisfied with their vision due to a halo effect seen at night or inability to see mid-range or difficulty with quality of vision. There were 17 patients that I removed the Odyssey lens for and replaced the Odyssey lens with the Envy. All 17 of those patients were satisfied with their vision range and quality with their envy over the Odyssey. This is a view of the Odyssey and envy multifocal lenses through our operating room microscope. Both lenses have rings that help patients see far mid and near without glasses. It is interesting that very subtle differences in the design of these implants makes a significant difference in the visual satisfaction for patients. So what do patients say when they're truly dissatisfied with their vision with a multifocal lens to degree that they want the lens removed or they can't live with the lens that they have? Well, one of our patients is willing to share her story with you. She underwent same day bilateral premium lens replacement surgery in May 2025 and received the Odyssey multifocal lens. She wasn't happy with her visual range or quality with that lens. Therefore, on September 2nd, 2025, she underwent same-day bilateral intraocular lens exchange where we removed her Odyssey lens and replaced it with the Envy lens in both eyes. Let me have her share her story directly with you. Hey. Hi. How's it going? Good to see you. Likewise. All right. So let's see here. Okay. Looks normal. Perfect. No 
PCO. You're good. Okay. Okay, so let's let's do a little synopsis and then I'll ask you some questions. She had LASIK long ago. Then before we did lens surgery in May, you just wore reading glasses, right? Right. You could see fine far away. I could. And you play tennis. Right. Tennis and some other sport. Golf. Right? Golf. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we, we did same day bilateral lens replacement in May with the Odyssey lens. We did your second surgery September 2nd, so for four months. What was the issue you had during that four months with the Odyssey lenses? The first thing that I noticed with the Odyssey was that the halos at night were dramatic, way more dramatic than I expected. Um, and then when I was playing tennis, I noticed that my peripheral vision wasn't very good. I never felt like I had crisp vision near mid-range or far. It, it felt like I had had surgery and didn't get improvement, but only got some negatives, yeah. like the halos and the peripheral vision not being great. With the peripheral vision altered on both eyes or just yes, one? Yes, both. Okay, so she yeah. had negative dysphotopsia. Yeah. So for tennis, as an example, my reaction time, especially playing doubles, was definitely impacted. Mm -hmm. I wasn't seeing the ball well. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing was I needed to use eye drops constantly. I mean, not hourly. We're talking, I carried them in my pocket everywhere. Artificial tears. Yes. And you did this from May until September? Yes. Yes. Because what, what were you feeling? Dry eye. Um, <laughs> my eyes would get more blurry the more dry they got. So I was putting in artificial tears constantly. Um, I was blinking a lot. I felt like there was just a constant film over my eye with the Odyssey lens. Did your eyes see better or feel better when you put in the artificial tears? Yes, temporarily. Did they feel better? They felt better. Okay. Um, so I didn't feel like I had to blink as much. Um, and sort of temporarily cleared things up. Um, almost as if I had an old contact lens and it was dirty and I could kind of clean it. I had known other people who had had lens replacement, had great results. Mm -hmm. I just was convinced that I wasn't having a great experience with right. the Odyssey. So much so that I thought the risk of doing another surgery was a must. Okay. <laughs> so we, we did same day bilateral lens exchange, September 2nd, removed the Odyssey, replaced it with a different lens called the Envy lens. Mm -hmm. Now what's the difference? I mean, immediately I noticed that I didn't have that dramatic dry eye. I was using the medicated drops per your prescription. Um, and then I was just using artificial tears as needed, which even a few days after surgery was a few times a day. So that was dramatically different. The other thing that was dramatically different was the halos at night. I mean, they're just almost non-existent with the NV. Very cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so when I had the Odyssey, I didn't enjoy driving at night. I felt that it was really a depth perception issue, things coming at me fast with really, really big halos. I couldn't identify the car coming towards me. Now with the Envy, I, I rarely notice the halos. If I look for them, I can find them, but it's not distorting my perception of anything. How's your quality of vision far mid, near, with the Envy? So near vision is great. I can use my computer without reading glasses. Did you have trouble with the Odyssey for I the computer? I did. So the mid-range with the Odyssey, not so good. Mid-range with the Envy, better. Better. Okay. Definitely better. I can also read books um, with the Envy, and I really couldn't read without reading glasses with the Odyssey. I do need to have pretty good light to read books, um, but one of the best things for me is the computer because I'm on the computer all day long for my job doing a lot of video calls. Mm -hmm. And so being able to be on video and seeing right. a person face to face without taking glasses on and off is fantastic. How's your driving vision, far of vision? Driving vision is fine. Okay. Um, the one thing I have noticed is that I had the ability with the Odyssey lens to see the golf ball really, really far. Mm -hmm. So 
you know, playing with other players, I could usually find or track anybody's ball, no matter the distance. Mm -hmm. Now with the Envy, I don't see that far, far range quite as well, mm -hmm. but it's very good. Um, okay. And the trade-off is for sure worth it. Okay. Yeah. Any other thoughts, comments, feedback? Thank you for doing the replacement because, uh, you know, I didn't want to be a, a difficult patient, but you made me feel like it wasn't going to be too much to ask. And so I'm totally satisfied yeah, and really no, happy. I'm glad. Yeah. I could tell you were almost like shaken up a little bit mm -hmm. because you weren't liking how you could see. Right. And then, uh, I think even Darren told me you weren't, you weren't in love with how you're seeing. So, right. Yeah. We need to I didn't want to complain, but yet I knew that there had to be a better solution and these are working great for me. Okay. Thank you much. Thanks to our patient for sharing her story with you. So in conclusion, of the 500 patients that received the Envy multifocal lens over the past 10 months, the satisfaction rate with this lens is well over 99%, and the dissatisfaction rate thus far has been very low, between 0 and 0.2%, which is much lower than the average 3 to 4% dissatisfaction rate that I've seen in all the other multifocal lenses prior to the Envy. As always, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.